y equals minus 2x plus 3 minus 2 all over x plus a minus 3. So when x gets large, positive or negative, this term will get relatively very small in comparison to this here, this value here. So it's going to approach a straight line from above and below. Minus 2x plus 3. So let's just draw our asymptote then through here, say. So let's draw it in. So we've got that. And then we'll need to carry on that asymptote. This is the line uh, y equals minus 2x plus 3 here. So now just when x gets large, say a 1,000 or something in our mind's eye, this becomes small positive. With the minus, it becomes small negative. So it approaches this line here, but just a small bit underneath as x gets increasingly large. When it gets large negative, this denominator is negative large. So encompassing the minus, you get a positive, and then you'll get a very small number positive, won't you, just above the line. So as x gets increasingly large on the negative side, it approaches this value here. This becomes a dominant term. But um, it approaches just a smidge above, doesn't it? Tends toward that line. So that's what we've got. The other value where it varies is at 3. This point here is when this is naught on this straight line, which is at 1.5. So if we put our value 3 here, say, and we draw a vertical asymptote now at 3, all the way down, like so. Let's look at either side. We've got a feeling it's going to shoot up to infinity here and shoot down to infinity there is what we expect. So as it comes from above 3 then, this term will now dominate because we'll get a very small number underneath, making this a very large number. If it's just above 3, this will be positive small. So this will be a huge positive number, but we've got a minus in front of it, so it's a huge negative. So we can see what happens there. It tends towards that vertical on the positive side shoots off to minus infinity here. 2.9, just under 3, this will be negative. Negative over negative is positive, so the fraction is large positive. So it dominate just below, th uh, below 3 there in the positive sense. So where does it turn? If we put 0 in, we get 3 plus 2 thirds, 3 and 2 thirds. So this is the value 3 over 2, and then we want 3 and 2 thirds, don't we? Oh, this was the value 3, sorry. And then we want 3 and 2 thirds. And it, so this curve then swings down, turns, and then goes up towards the line here. And it comes up from here, it turns, and then goes down towards the line there. Not very well drawn, this one. Let me just have one more go. So it comes up, turns, and then swings down towards the line there. That's what we've got. So this line then. Let's just mark it off. y equals minus 2x plus 3, minus 2 all over the x plus minus 3 in a bracket. So let's just check that on our plotter then. So we'll do from minus 10 to 10, minus 2x plus 3, minus 2 divided by brackets. I'm just writing it in here in this small dialog box. And then we'll just click Submit, see the sketch. And, yeah, we can see it shoots up at 3 in the way that we described. And we've got this straight line asymptote here uh, corresponding to minus 2x uh, plus 3. So the intercept of the line, the straight line asymptote is 3, as we put down here.